entry point. It listens to uh, it listens to RF from my handy talkie and takes it and throws it into the internet. We're connected to the uh, to the internet through an Ethernet cable over here. Uh, unfortunately, the early versions, and that's what I bought, run on two meters. Two meters, there's a lot of crap coming out of computers and in the office environment. I had to fool around for hours to find the frequency in my office that I could do this on. In the house, it doesn't matter. But the frequency I found doesn't work here. So I would have to go in with a computer and futz around with what frequency was the right frequency. Let me see if it works right now. But it worked for a minute, and then it freaked out the poor thing. working at this end. So what I'm doing is what I'm doing is talking to I'm talking to a D star reflector. It, it's a uh, it's a it's a conglomeration of about 15 re, uh, 15 repeaters or as many repeaters as want to be connected to it. So I'm talking to right now I'm talking to the New England reflector group. Now ND1L uh, radio test anybody around That's D star for you. Clear an emergency. Right. Yeah, right. I don't know. It's interacting with the it's interacting with the computer. Anyway, so should we turn off this computer? I wouldn't I, yeah, who knows? It could be something else, could be the fluorescent light. So the newer ones work on four forty where there's far less interference. Uh, so wherever I go I have a D star repeater. So I have a summer house up on Nantucket. Is they hate technology on the Nantucket, so I just bring my repeater with me. I drive around the island. I put a bigger antenna on. I drive around and talk to my friends. Steve. So that's a transceiver in that little. Yeah, that's a simplex transceiver. It's not. It's not full duplex. It's half duplex. Um, with uh, the Raspberry uh, for thirty-five dollars, that's really about all I, I have. I have uh, this particular one comes up by itself. It's, it's auto start. I have another one that I brought with me that allows you to go on and do all kinds of things with it. But you need a you need a monitor, you need a, you need a keyboard. I brought all of it, but we didn't bring one connector. To go, <laughs> it's always like to go from uh, to go from HDMI to VGA, which this thing this thing likes. So I can't do it. I can't show you that. Okay, um, but just to step back for a second, we won't do that for a second. Yeah. Normally, what happens is you plug this into a computer like a Windows computer, okay, you know, that laptop. And then this is a small transmitter receiver, and if you've got a, a, a um, D-Star handy talkie, you can get some number of feet, whatever it is, 1,500 feet, 1,000 feet away from yeah, it. Easy. And you can, and you talk into this, this in turn goes through your computer into the D-Star network. What, what Jess is saying is that instead of one of those big computers like that, he's got a, uh, a Raspberry Pi doing the interface into the D Star uh, into the into the network, so it bypasses the um, the laptop. Or right, you don't need a laptop. Thing. Thing. This is this What's is a called? D Star DVAP. It's called DVAP. D V A P. And it's if just you do a, if you do a search on Google, you'll find. And it's for D Star only. It's, for it's D -Star only for D Star. Right. I will say, however. That I have another Raspberry Pi that I have set up an Echo Link and IRLP node. Uh, all that requires is an, a video, an audio board, so I can bring it. I can make myself an Echo Link and or and or IRLP repeater. There's also a bunch of people doing yet another flavor of digital uh, audio called All Star Net, which is runs in a, an operating system called Asterix. That was designed for phone systems, and uh, those things that they love Beagle Bones. The Beagle Bone is their big new deal now, and I have friends who are walking around with phones. They look like a cell phone, and they're making a, a phone call and they're talking to their system, and then they're jumping into the internet and coming out in you know Australia. It's all ham radio. I'm not smart enough. I can't keep up. You cannot keep up. Anyway, it's very easy. It's very easy. The, the DVAP will run off a Mac or PC. Um, my experience, by the way, is that the worst problem is what uh, you were talking about with backing up. If you have a 16 gig card and, and you expand your operating system, which you do, 
to have the most available memory. And then you try to back it up. It tells you that the identical card exactly. that came out of the factory and the identical size, it's not big enough to, take, to, take, to back up to. So I have plenty of backups sitting on my PC that I can't put on anything. So I have to go buy 32 gig cards now to put it on that, to put it on. It's really a work in progress. This is not a, this is an experiment, this toy. It's not, it's not something. However, my son-in-law and my, one of my grandchildren built uh, one of these and a, temp and a thermistor and something else, a, a solid state relay, and they're, rec they're, they're, they're they're controlling the temperature in the horse troughs out in the barn because 1500 watts times two day and night is very expensive. So now they, they simply sample every minute they sample the temperature and they turn the thing on and off depending. $35, it's so cheap you can make one for each trough, it's ridiculous. Anyway, if anybody have any questions about that, I'd be happy to entertain them. D-Star is a uh, good way to stay mentally active. <laughs> In other words, it's an endless IQ test. I, I uh, administer the, the gateway for the North machine. And I would say at least every day I go, what? It's really tragic. But there are people who can who do it just like that. I don't know what cereal they're eating, but I'm not having it. Anymore. That's a very, very, very easy thing to implement. 